Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is lecture series 15 network security dealing with SSH protocol that is secure shell protocol. Come, let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So what is SSH? The secure shell protocol, it is nothing but it secures the complete network communication. It is actually very simple when compared to SSL protocol, TLS protocol. It is simple and also it is inexpensive because the secure shell protocol in itself has number of protocols designed. There are three kinds of protocols designed that is connection protocol, user authentication protocol and transport layer protocol. So this is the architecture of secure shell protocol wherein you have IP that is your internet protocol, TCP transmission control protocol and SSH transport layer protocol wherein this transport layer will ensure to provide you complete confidentiality, integrity and authentication of data that is communicated from one end to the other end. SSH user authentication protocol promises that it gives complete authentication between both the ends of the server and the client. An SSH connection protocol is nothing but here in this, uh, in this layer, it multiplexes number of connections, whether it, it, it can be any logical connections also. It multiplexes several connections. Next, moving into transport layer protocol, seeing about the transport layer protocol in detail. We can tell that the transport layer protocol has some parameters like host keys, packet exchange and key generation. We already know that transport layer protocol has TCP and UDP as one of the protocol wherein these parameters are used. So seeing this, what host key does is it provides the authentication. What authentication? It gives us server authentication at the transport layer based on how the server is providing the key, pair keys, whether it is private or public keys. So when a server gives multiple number of host keys, it uses different encryption algorithm. And the same way, the host to the uh, key, it should be completely associated with some certificate, which is completely signed by the certificate authorities. And taking packet exchange into consideration, this parameter, it will be explaining you the sequence of events that is happening in the transport layer protocol. That is how a packet is exchanged from the client to the server side. So there are some parameters that is followed when transferring the packet from one end to the another end. So if a key is compromised, say suppose next is key generation. In key generation, if suppose the key that is generated doesn't reach the server, if the key is compromised for one session, one session doesn't have any master secret key, then it, it is sure that the complete session which is which doesn't have any key generation will not affect the any other session or it doesn't affect the security of the complete system it just doesn't generate the key and that's it and the server authentication on that transport layer will be occurring based on some parameters so you can see the packet exchange parameters that is your message authentication code, packet length, padding length, payload, random padding, message authentication code. So here you can see a client and a server who is first establishing your TCP connection and there are some steps that is followed such that the data are transferred from the client to the server. So based on that packet exchange, these are the parameters that is considered. So first taking packet length into consideration. What is packet length? It is the length of the pockets in terms of bytes. Padding length, 
padding length is nothing but it is the length of the padding fields that is the zeros that we attach in front or at the back of the packet length next is payload payload is nothing but it is some useful con contents of the packet like when you are choosing an algorithm prior for prior to the algorithm negotiation this field will be completely uncompressed and if suppose the compression is negotiated then subsequent packets will be compressed in this field next is random padding random padding is uh, is an encryption algorithm which can be negotiated it contains some random bytes of padding so that the total length of the packet will satisfy the cipher text block and next at uh, the last one message authentication code that is your mac it is nothing but if a message authentication is negotiated then that field will com contain some mac value so the mac value will be computed based on the entire pocket and also the sequence number of that pocket because each of the pocket that is traveling from the client to the server will have its own sequence number so based on that the message authentication field will have the value next seeing about the steps in the packet exchange you can see you have a payload which is compressed and that compressed payload will have a padding field and you have the packet length pktl is nothing but packet length pdl is padding length and each of the packets will have sequence number wherein with the sequence number along with the padding field it will be encrypted and have a mac value in it so that it satisfy the complete cipher text block so first there are some steps that has to be followed one is identification string exchange next step is algorithm negotiation third is key exchange and finally it is service request so uh, identification string exchange so here in this step it is the number of it consists of the sequence of steps wherein you will have the identification of string exchange where your client will begin to send the pocket so it will be in the version ssh proto version it tells which version it is and software version also and sp command crlf so where in sp crlf all these are nothing but sp is space character cr is carrier carriage return and lf is nothing but the line field so these are the strings that is used in defi hellman key exchange next coming to the next step algorithm negotiation so you can see ssh message key initiation so here what happens is each of the side will send this as a message this is a message that is sent from the each side wherein it consists of number of supported algorithm that is sent by the priority it will be selected based on the priority so these algorithm may include the key exchange algorithm encryption algorithm mac algorithm compression algorithm so all those will be selected in this step next is your key exchange so sss message new keys so this is the specification which allows for alternative methods of key exchange wherein this message is sent to exchange the keys new keys that is generated between the client and the server so there are some random number generated wherein you will have the padding field along with the random number generated you will have a sequence number so completely a payload will be formed at this stage and finally it is service request so the end of the key exchange is you can tell that the uh, the end of the fee key exchange will have a message ssh message new keys and the final step service request the client will be sending this message service request message to request the user authentication or connection protocol so next that is the protocol that has to be followed to completely satisfy your ssh architecture so the service request will request for the next protocol key generation so key generation you have many generation of keys so client to server you have a session id that is generated b is the other client who is generating session id and encryption key client to the server encryption key algorithm is set up encryption 
key server is set up integrity of the key must be maintained In integrity of the uh, integrity key of the client also should be maintained so each of the thing is each of the key generation is followed with the hash algorithm and each is having different random numbers generated it wherein hash is nothing but your hash algorithm which determines your algorithm negotiation hope you have understood about the architecture of the ssh protocol along with transport layer protocol in next upcoming videos we'll be seeing about the connection protocol please be stay tuned for more information thank you